who am I to judge you? Who are you to judge me? Who are we to judge anybody else? Have you noticed sometimes in life some people stay down because the world around them are judging them for whatever they're struggling with? There are, there are spirits attached to everything. There are spirits attached to everything. There are spirits attached to stealing. There are spirits attached to idolatry. There are spirits attached to lying. There are spirits attached to drugs, use, use of drugs. There are spirits attached to everything. But within this body, there are other investments that God has made in every individual. So when you see someone imperfections weighing them down, don't be part of the group that will judge them and make them feel like they are nothing, they can be any, they can't be anything, they can't be anybody, they can't become anybody. If we are created in the image of God, then we should know that we have to be able to find the best in someone. Remember the song, He saw the best in me when everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. That's what God does for us. Sometimes when the world fails us, sometimes when your family fails you, sometimes when, you, when your friends fail you, people you trust the most, people you love the most, when they let you down, it is God who sees the best in you. Sometimes churches will turn you away, but it is God who sees the best in you, in us. So if you're not able to bring yourself to, to a place where you isolate yourself from being the reason why a brother stayed down or a sister stayed down, the Bible says we are the light of the world. So if you see somebody down and lost in the dark, you cannot come and be the reason why that person sinks deeper into that dark place. You have to be the reason why the person sees a light at the end of the tunnel. Because that's what God does for us. When everything else is going to help to scatter around us, it is God, it's only God that gives us hope. It's only God that opens the gates of heaven and pour down blessings and favors upon our lives. I don't know if you have noticed, but, but the people who get written off the most, the people who get rejected the most, the people who get turned away the most are the people God elevate. You understand? Because God gets his glory from what mankind failed to do. God gets his glory from what mankind find impossible to do. So, stop judging somebody. It's one thing when you give a very constructive critical advice to someone. It's another thing when you focus on the person's sins. We all sin differently, but all sins are equal. So don't be part of the group of people that will capitalize on the worst in somebody. Inside each and every one of us, God made an investment. Try to see if you can tap into whatever God has invested into that brother or that sister. And when they have become somebody because of your kindness, of you being the light within your darkness, God will bless you.